switching. The class switching, uh, here the different classes of immunoglobulins differ in their heavy genes and the effector function and the IgM is the first immunoglobulin to be formed. However, the immunoglobulin of a different classes may be needed to deal with the same antigen. Um, there is a need of the other kind of immunoglobulin depending upon the, what type of the antigens have been entered inside our body. So, there is a need to class switch. The new immunoglobulin should recognize the same antigen but perform a different effective function. And for this, the VDJ complex already formed join a downstream constant segment and intervening DNA is deleted out and the another form of the DNA, uh, other form of the antibody is generated from this um, class switching. Thus, an IG immunoglobulin of a different classes but having the same antigen specificity. The main thing is that having the same antigen specificity is formed. And this is known as the class switching and the isotype switching also. And the switch, uh, uh, this switch sequence, uh, sequences preceding seat segment gene facilitate, facilitates this class switching process. And this is the class switching from the IgM to IgA2. Here we can see there is the uh, chain from mu, delta, and gamma, and the alpha. And then what we need, we need the alpha chain. And for this the alpha chain, here the recombination takes place, and there is a deletion of this uh, uh, mu portion, and, and here the addition of the alpha to take place, and there is a class switching take place through, and it's formed from the ACM to IG.